Here's the pendulum setup. Set up your ring stands so that it can support a string. The string hangs down to the floor. A weight is attached on the spring. Your motion detector is a short distance away. Set up to detect the motion of the swinging pendulum. Make sure that your motion detector faces the cabinet so it doesn't face out into the room so that there's no moving bodies to interfere with recording the motion of your pendulum. Set your motion detector about 30 or 40 centimeters away. Make sure it's pointed in the line of the swing. This way my pendulum is swinging straight towards the detector. And press And you can see I'm getting quite a bit of uh, glitches and spikes. That might happen, that's okay. You can see mine's maybe a little off. So I'm gonna fix that. And adjust my motion detector so it's in line with the swinging of the pendulum. And set the pendulum swinging. Here we go one more time. Oh, this is looking much better. If you get just one glitch, remember you can zoom in on the data you don't want or on the data you do one, I should say. Zoom in with your and graph, zoom in. There we go, that's a pretty good uh, graph for the pendulum data. Over here in the back corner of the room, we've got our uh, motion detector set up on the ceiling. You can see it up there. And this is going to record student jumping in the air. So you'll notice our wire comes down from the motion detector and connects onto the wall right here. That's to prevent it from yanking on the motion detector. So have one of your, uh, someone from your lab group come over and plug in the sensor into their lab quest. They'll stand here. They'll start the data collection while your partner, your lab partner, stands under the motion detector and jumps into the air. For jumping in the air, that's some good looking data. Here's the setup for our oscillating spring. We've got a spring with a weight hanging from the ring stand and we're going to put our motion detector below it. We're going to put it on the sensitive setting which is the cart and then we're going to close that and line it up right over the right under the mass set the mass in oscillation and record some data okay we've got some glitches so let's so I just adjusted to make sure it's directly over the motion detector there we go. And we'll try it again. Very nice. This is the ball in the air experiment. You're going to set the ball over the top of the motion detector and you'll probably have to practice a few times throwing it straight up and catching it right over the motion detector. Once you think you can do that pretty well. Might take a few practice throws. Go ahead, start data collection, throw it in the air, and that's some good looking data. Here's our cart on a ramp setup. You've got your cart on the downhill side of the ramp. The ramp is elevated. You just give it a little push, and it comes back. Just to get the hang of it, you want it to come about this high up, about 20 centimeters from the sensor. So once you get that down, go ahead and start your data collection. Give it a push. And that's some nice looking data there. Then for part six, you're going to want to do it again, but this time 
set your time interval for a little longer. I'm going to change the duration of my data collection to 10 seconds now. And then I'm going to go ahead and record data and let it bounce now. It bounced. And that's some good looking data.